basics and tonight we are gonna do a thrifted rolling pin i saw a few people do this one of them was uh, jamie ray vintage and her husband they uh were rolling the rolling pin over the stamp and y'all i love this stamp so it's right up my alley i had to try it i'm dying to try it kind of easy craft but you know usually the easy ones are the ones that take you know quite some time if you're new to me i'd love for you to subscribe check me out turn on your notifications do all those things um because i love me some youtube I uh, love me some YouTube. <laughs> and for those of you that are in the waiting room, I don't know what that looks like. So thank you for waiting. I, it's weird because I have to do a few things before I actually go live. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. And I can never adjust my camera, but it looks like it did pretty good. Because I only can see like this much. And then it's like, it's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of hard to explain. Let me see if comments. Oh, let's see. Uh, live chat. There we go. Hello, Cheryl. How are you? I don't know if I missed anybody else. I don't know if I have to. I didn't have to push that live chat last time. I don't know, but let me get to cleaning this thing because this is a thrifted, this is not vintage. Anything, that, if you ever see it's got, you can see perfectly, um, plastic, it's not old. So if there's any plastic when you in your spinny part, it's not old. It's okay to, it's okay to paint. <laughs> I mean, you can do whatever you want to. I, we're going to need some help on some colors too. I've got, well, we're going to paint it. What color are we going to paint it? White Swan. Hey, Lorraine. And I don't know about the handles. I don't know. Vintage duck egg. That's a safe color. Black cherry. Look at that color. Ooh. Quite the sexy color, huh? Or we go crazy buck wild with fancy farm girl. But we probably have to tone that down with a little white wax. I don't know. That's That doesn't scream like old tractor. I don't know what does. And then we got some ink. And we're going to use my favorite stamp. Hold on. Le Corrier. <laughs> I love this. So, um, yeah. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. However they thought of this, I don't know. Um, but they did um, the farm animals. They rolled the farm animals. But you only, depending on how big your rolling pin is, this is the biggest one I have, like, fat-wise. So that's why I chose this one. I have some other ones. Most of them are new, and they're just, they're not even, like, a rolling pin. They're, like, a, I'm looking at them. <laughs> like, like, you can see them. Like, a rolling... I don't know, like a bread roller. I don't know what the heck they are. But anyways, they were like a couple bucks at Marshall's or TJ Maxx. Um, but they did the farm animals and they did um, part of the uh, Le, Le, Le Clampain, Le Champagne. I don't know, the new stamp. But the problem is, is you only get a little bit of the image where I feel like this, if we stop it in the right place, because that's going to be tricky as we roll it, you're going to want a double roll. So I don't know. We'll see how good my stop skills are. Um... But I think that just covers the whole thing. Plus, I love that stinking stamp. And the, anytime I can use it, I'm in. <laughs> anytime I can use it, I'm in. This is just um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, not vodka or anything like that. Well, that's probably not a, well, yeah, let's just do that. I, this has never been cleaned. I can feel it's got kitchen fuzz on it. It's kitchen fur. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. Woo! Um, I have no idea how long I've had this. Like I said, it is not old. And the way you can tell is if you can see the plastic. Most of them you can see the plastic. Um, sometimes you can't, sometimes you can't. But sometimes you can just tell by looking at it if they're older or new. I do like this one because it has the hole in it so we can, you can hang it if you wanted to. But all the wording's gonna be this way, so that's weird. Oh, now it feels sticky. Y'all, our shirt came out so cute. I'm still on the fence about what to do on the bottom. However, I did finish sealing it. Let me show you. Don't go anywhere. It's still a little damp. so. Earlier we did this, um, this shirt was gifted to me. So for the first time I bleached it. So we did a little decoupage on each um, sleeve. I can't wait to wear it. And we did this on the back. How beautiful is that? Freaking love it. But I think I do, I don't know. I, I, gotta, I gotta sit on it. I, but I do think it needs something down here. Maybe like a word or a vintage, something. Maybe up here, but I'm thinking no, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to think on it, but it's, it's got the two coats of the Pentart textile on it. I still have to heat set it. After I heat set it, it'll be ready to wash. And not that you need to wash a flannel every day, but you know, kind of like a jacket. But I love it. I think it came out so cool. Now I'm like obsessed. Now I can't wait for the sun to come out tomorrow so I can bleach up the other two <laughs> she gifted me. There's going to be no flannel safe in my house. So, so yeah, there's that. So I'm going buck wild. What is going on? Do I have to hit, let me hit live chat again. Okay, Lorraine's the last one said. Okay, so we're gonna use DIY White Swan. This is a clay-based paint. Um, so from what I understand, this Queen Bee was on here last time. The Queen Bee, 
the queen bee. I think that's how you say her name. She advised, uh, cause I'm, I'm new to YouTube and I know most of you are, but when you start a live video, uh, there she is. <laughs> are your ears ringing? Um, that you go out of the video, share and like, and then come back. And then that makes other people think that there's something really great going on here. So if we could trick them, that would be great. I don't know. Like, I'm glad to know that because I, I apparently you can't share it from the live. I don't know. This is all new to <laughs> all new to us. And we're learning as we go. We're learning as we go. I, you know what? I probably should just go ahead and paint. Uh, I guess it depends what color we do. I think we're going to end up doing vintage duck egg. There's 13 tuning in and I should not be the first <laughs> thumbs up. Ooh, she's cracking the whip, y'all. So I guess you need to go out, give a thumbs up. I could be wrong. Give a thumbs up and share if you can find the share button. So we're all in training, Queen Bee. <laughs> we're all in training. We're learning here. We're learning. Oh, I'm sweating. I thought I turned the um, share to my, thank you. Share to your community page. I, um, I thought I'd turn the air down enough, but hey, Cindy, welcome, welcome. So if y'all can figure out how to do that, that'd be great. It'd be great. Let the others know. Hey, Lori, thank you for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Y'all, I packed, I packed up all the orders and I was like, ah, eh, I'm going to go live. I still got a little makeup on, still have my bra on, so, you know, I might as well, might as well make the best of it. Because, you know, once that comes off, then it's, once you wash the face and take the unmentionables off, then, you know, it's kind of game over. Kind of game over. But y'all have so much sit down work to do. I don't want to do any of it. I just want to play. I just want to play. I just want to play. It feels so good to have my creative spirit back. And uh, just feels good. Just feels amazing. Although, like I said, I'm sweating a little. Sweating a little. Getting closer and closer. You've done the things. Thank you, Denise. Everyone who has a community page, do share out the like. See, I don't know what the community page... I don't even know what that means. Community page. I don't know what that means. Oh! I know. I... Oh, okay. I know what you mean. I have a community page. That's where I put my posts. Oh, okay. I don't know everybody knows that part yet. Um, but yeah, so the community page on fate on, on YouTube is just like our personal page or our business page, our feed, basically our feed. Um, and YouTube now has, um, well, it's always had one, but you couldn't, you had to have so many followers to do it before. I, I don't, they just recently changed it. So for the better, of course. So we're just learning here together. Every live stream in my community, I shall be right. Mind the audience. You got to keep us in check, lady. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Y'all, Queen Bee comes back. Y'all better have the things done. <laughs> Y'all better have the things done. Oh, that makes me laugh. Thanks for looking out, sister. <laughs> Thanks for looking out. Oh, of course, this isn't one paint, uh, one coat paint, but. Oh, yeah, that's going to definitely. I was going to say it only maybe need a touch up, but no. As it's drying, I can see it's coming through already. Coming through already. Coming through. Yeah, I got like... Kimberly, hello. Hello, G-Ready Prince. <laughs> How you be? <laughs> you G-Ready. I just... I don't want to... I want to play, y'all. I want to play. I don't want to do the... Not so fun stuff. <laughs> not so fun stuff. Hmm. Exciting. Exciting fun stuff. Actually, I, I do... I, I gotta get it done. I gotta stop... I've never been a procrastinator ever. So retire. <laughs> I had to prioritize so much in those last two months. It really messed me up. Now I feel like I'm a, um, the beast has been unleashed. And now I can like, just do whatever the heck I want. Do oh, whatever I want. It's crazy though, like, cause my sleep schedule's still really screwed up. But I mean, I work nights my entire life. So I'd imagine it's gonna take time to straighten myself out. But I want so badly to be a day person. Looks like a marble rolling. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does, huh? Uh, I want so bad to be like a day person, but yeah, it's just not working out. I'll, I'll wake up like, it's weird because my best sleep is like after 6 a.m. And I'm usually trying to go to sleep at like 3, 3.30. And uh, it's like a toss and turn. And then my best sleep is like 6 to noon. But I'll wake up 9.30. I'll be like, oh, I should really get up. I roll over. I'm like, oh, I'll get up the next time I wake up. <laughs> wake up 45 minutes later. I'm like, ah. The next time. And the next thing I know, it's 11, 30, 12. And I'm like, crap. <laughs> I tried. 
community page is how the channel grows, and that's what I have been doing, is expanding the channels within my community. Well, that's fantastic. I appreciate that. My channel has been slow to grow. Uh, I've been working it super hard, and I want it really bad, and it'll happen. It'll happen, and once I get the swing of things, I hope one day I can be in the position to help others, too, and know what the heck I'm doing, And because uh, it's all about community, that's for sure. We definitely know that. Definitely know that, so appreciate your assistance. Well, that tried pretty stinking quick now, didn't it? Slow and steady wins the race. That's right. Ooh, that's a West. <laughs> yeah, uh, last I checked, I think I need 168 more hours. But then you got to maintain that stuff, so, you know, it don't. it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. The fun just begins, really. The fun just begins. Plus, it takes time to be approved, and, you know, you got to do all this stuff, and not all this stuff, but you got to do some stuff. You have to be approved. And, um, but I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about it. I wanted to do it. Um, it's been on my mind and on my list for so long, but, you know, working full time and doing all the things and the website, I really had to, um, before I started my coaching class or coaching group, this last coaching group, um, no, you didn't miss me. You didn't miss me. I was trying to do all of the things, but I was doing all the things half ass. So I was just really spinning my wheels. I wasn't really getting anywhere. And um, in the, the coaching group one night, she had said, you need to pick, you know, you need to keep, you need to pick one thing and ma basically master it. Meaning, you know, you got this down you can maintain it and now bring on the next big thing. But being able to maintain everything else you've already got going on at the same time before taking on something big. And I swear to you, the minute my mindset changed. Uh, oh, Kimberly, I'll show you. I just I just showed it, but I'll show you again. Um, the minute my mindset changed to do that, y'all, I made so much progress. I got, I got more accomplished than um, once the world. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, once, uh, once I, I did that, um, man, I got a lot accomplished, like a lot. Cause I was just, you know, throwing a video up on, you know, here and there. And just, like I said, spinning my wheels, spinning my wheels. So YouTube was the next big thing. Um, after a couple of other big things that, you know, email and all that crap. But anyways, so. There's that. The consistency is key. There's no doubt about that. You've got to do this every day, whether you want to do it or not. I mean, most days I want to. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. It excites me. I like to post memes because I think they're funny. And I think this world is so jacked up that just some stupid post that makes you laugh is, is, is priceless. Priceless. Some of these posts, I, some I can't even post because people would be offended, but they make me laugh. They just make me laugh. Unfortunately, everybody doesn't realize that they're, they're a joke. Like, some people take it, like, serious and give you this huge explanation on what the meme is about. It's like, it's a joke. Hello? It's a joke. Don't, don't be so serious. But to each your own, whatever. I won't post any Karen posts anymore, I'll tell you that. That was a disaster. That was a disaster. Uh, I used to think I had to justify myself and explain. I just delete it now. I just, I ain't got time. I ain't got time. You just can't get through to some. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. It's a job just collecting those. Just collecting those and having them on the ready a uh, couple of days. That's a, that's a job. That's, like, all this, all this stuff adds up. All this stuff, stuff adds up, but man, I would not change my life for anything. Nothing. Nothing. Thanks to you guys helping me get where I'm at. The best is yet to come. I know that. What will help you is using two devices while you're live streaming get shared. Yeah, so Queen Bee, um, here's the deal. Um, really long story, but in a nutshell, uh, we moved to our property in the woods. And the problem that we could never move here full time is because the internet. I worked an IT job for 24 years. 
um, is doing this the, this business on the side, and um, we decided to try Starlink RV Starlink um, because the residential wasn't available. We had Dish um, Hughes Dish. It's totally sucked. I mean, you couldn't even watch a stream video, a live video. You couldn't even make a phone call. Um, but it was better than nothing. Um, might be able to get through to 911, <laughs> but so um, so I I I've tried three or four times now. I even purchased Streamyard, so I could stream on two different um, things. And um, this was just paint uh, DIY uh, white swan, just white paint. Um, so I tried, but and then I tried pulling them up individually, and it 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 didn't go so well. So we do have fiber coming uh, by the end of the year. Um, I've already pre-registered for it. So once that comes, then that's absolutely what I'm gonna do because that is the best way you could spend your time, 100%. Maureen, hello, Telegram notification. Yes, girl, thank you, <laughs> yes. And, and I know a lot of you, you know, are outside of your comfort zone by being here on YouTube, so I do appreciate it. And uh, you'll find that it's a very lovely platform. Like, there's people, you, there's people to support you. Like, you got problems? Oh, can you imagine that? Oh, my goodness. All right. That should be good. Oh, I still feel a little cool. Um, yeah, that should be good. So, I saw this. Uh, Jamie Ray Vintage, they, they did this. Um, of course, they take, um, you know, they buy one or two dollar rolling pins and paint them and turn around and sell them for 15 to 25 dollars. I'm not gonna do that but but anyways this is where this idea came from um they did a couple so they basically we're gonna do this we're gonna roll it over a stamp looks so cool we're gonna use the le Corrier stamp the french my favorite one of my favorites but they did the farm animal stamp and they did the new um uh getting used to youtube oh i just oh thank you Lori. it's really it's really great it so far not gonna work. um they did the new Le, Le Champ, Le Clamp, the one with the big roosters on it, um, which looked cool, but you didn't get the whole image. If we had a bigger, fatter rolling pin, then that would be better. So, but hold on. Kim asked about the shirt. So uh, we did this earlier live. I was gifted three flannels because the jean jacket just set off a thing of, we did a paint inlay on the jean jacket. So I was gifted. So I wanted to bleach and check it out. So I bleached the cuffs and decoupaged um, that on that cuff matching cuffs and then look at that isn't that beautiful i do think i want to put something on the butt the the the, the end of it but i'm not sure yet but it's got two coats of the pentart textile on it so next i just got to heat set it which i'll do that tomorrow and then it'll be washable it will be washable and that's rice paper y'all rice paper how cool is that so now i'm really excited like i said there's no flannel shirt safe anywhere anywhere um this is still damp i think i should paint the handles before i put the the stamp on the trick to this stamp is uh thank you Lori. it was so easy like the bleach part was easy it was just watching it um the trick to this is going to be where to stop you know what i mean so you don't double but if we do we do i mean no big deal uh, I'm a certified nerd in commission for every content creator with my community to be a leader helpers. Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't know that. Well, look at you. I want to, I want that job. That's like a rewarding job. I want that job. Black cherry or vintage duck egg for the handles. I think fancy farm girls not, it's a little much for today. It's too green. Said no one ever. So what do y'all think? The first three that I see black cherry, or vintage duck egg. The first three answers is what we're gonna get. Uh, watch a short video. Oh yeah, it's, I didn't bleach it. I have little clips of the bleaching process that I gotta put together because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I've never done that before, uh, but it was very easy. Um, black cherry, one for black cherry. First three. Such a pretty color, it really is. But so vintage at duck egg, so beautiful. Up oh, two, well, two for black cherry. One more, one more. Is it going to be black cherry, black cherry, vintage? Oh, black cherry it is. Stop your votes. Black cherry. Black cherry it is. Cherry. Black cherry. All right. Good deal. Thank you for your participation. I really should like stir this, but I'm going to see if I can get away with not. 
not. And also, if um, you've been on from the beginning, this is probably like the third or fourth time I've said it, but um, if you see rolling pins in the thrift stores and whatnot, if you see plastic, they are not vintage. Oh, we're going... Oh, Black Cherry. Sorry. Hey, UFO 1940. No, 8, 1947 Productions. Hello. Vintage Duck Egg is beautiful. It really is. I mean, that is no doubt. It's a beautiful color. What do I get for a prize? Um, uh, a big hug. Oh, look at that. Y'all, that's sick. I'm not only going to like purple. That's beautiful. You know what this reminds me of? The um, Black Current 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 <laughs> i don't know how to say it everybody will like cor correct me in the comments but everybody's saying something different so it's kind of funny um i don't think anybody really knows the correct uh the correct pronunciation but it's pretty purple i know that i should have painted these white like i said i was gonna but i didn't <gasps> yeah i should have i totally should have y'all i'm gonna get this is not gonna work hold on i gotta tape this off because well Hell, let me, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go, I'm going to gamble. If I, if I hit the white, I'll, I'll just, I'll touch it up. Let's see if we can, I'll touch it up. Let's see how, let's see how steady of a hand I have. I can't let you see me do it though, because then I'll mess it up. So don't look, look away just for a minute. Just, just for a minute, just for a minute. Reminds me of Grimace from, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay, we're safe. We got that first part. <laughs> Close safe. This is definitely gonna be more than one coat. It's not even like it's see-through. Why is that all paint funny, y'all? It's funny. And it gets me every time I think, oh, this paint sucks. Like usually the first coat you get a pretty good coat, but why is that first coat is never good? It just isn't. And then you put the second coat on and it all comes together. Eyes are closed. Hey, Mary. Mary, Mary, why you bugging? Yeah, it's just funny paint. I tell that story about when I painted my bedroom. Y'all, I, I bought that expensive paint and I put it on the wall. And I was like, oh my goodness, there's no way this isn't going to take 10 coats. Uh, yeah, that's going to take a couple coats. That looks crazy. And uh, man, I put that second coat on and it was like a completely different paint. It, it was, it's weird. I don't know why it does. It's very strange. And putting it on thicker doesn't help at all. As a matter of fact, it makes it worse because uh, I'll type a comment underneath this live stream once it's done and upload the way it's easier to locate my channel. Awesome, Queen. Queen Bee, thank you for being so helpful. Can you imagine if everybody in the world was like as helpful as you? It'd be a, such a, oh, my stomach's making weird noises. It would be such a, uh, more beautiful place to live. Look, we got people helping us on YouTube instead of trolls bugging us. If that doesn't speak volumes, then y'all, I know it's, I know it's uncomfortable to change what you're used to, but sometimes speaking of troll, I just saw a comment go by or somebody's, somebody's bugging somebody in the comments. <laughs> somebody's bugging somebody in the comments. It's, it's just, who knew? Who knew? I kick myself in the head sometimes and think, why didn't I start with YouTube? But I can't think that way because if I did that, then I wouldn't know any of you. I probably wouldn't be that way. Yeah, this looks very ugly uh, right now. <laughs> very ugly. I feel like I just want to dip it in there. Whoop. Be done. Be done. Be done. Be done. Oh, man. So we had some new people order. That was really cool. That really excites me. I love, I love seeing new people order stuff because I get so excited for them, especially when it's like, I, I mean, I appreciate all orders, but there's just some orders. Cause let's face it. I, you know, I like everything on our website, but there's some stuff I'm like, I love. <laughs> and I see somebody's order, like something I would order. I get all jacked up. I get all jacked up. Like I, let's put this on express and get this out to her quick. Oh boy. Right, let's see what the, the, I'm talking all this smack about um, the second coat. Let, you'll see. I hope it doesn't make a liar out of me. It might. I feel like I need purple ink now. But it's just paint. I mean, if 
we don't like the purple, we just paint over it, right? I mean, it's pretty much that easy. It's that easy. We're not committed to nothing. We are not committed to anything. That kind of looks pretty, though, right there, doesn't it? If you own those excite these are, you know what, those brushes... Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, are we there? Are we there? All right, we're going second coat. I'm going to... Yes. Red, turquoise, green, like this kind of green. Fancy farm girl green. That green right there is wicked, but it looks so beautiful when you add white wax to it. It really like knocks the color down um, a lot, like a lot. It makes it a nice, really nice green. Because that green is, that's like Farmer Brown's tractor green. Farmer Brown's tractor green. Um, I did freeze for a second. I lost connection. It showed me. It scared me. It scared me. Um, I got jokes I want to tell you guys, but you know, I can't. But if once we get in our subscription group, which we're going to be kicking off, it's going to open, um, open to join Saturday the 1st. And then our first meetup will be um, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern uh, on the 5th. And it's going to be um, 23 bucks a month. And we're going to meet once a week. But we might change that time. If it comes where people, you know, because I'm East Coast, so I'm the latest. So if we got to make it later, then that's what we're going to do. But it's something we can certainly discuss. Look at the second coat. First coat. Like, night and day. <laughs> wow, that is a big difference. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, oh, Kimberly, and that's another thing. I feel really bad when, um, you know, someone, I don't want anybody to ever feel bad. Like if nobody needs to explain themselves to me or anybody for that matter. I mean, if you want, it's something you want to do and something you can do, that's totally great. But if it's something you can't do, I, I more than anybody understand. I mean, I honestly do. And I'm still going to be, everything's going to be the same. We're just adding, you know an extra thing to it. So I don't want anybody to feel like they have to explain themselves or feel bad about nothing like that. I promise, promise, because like I said, nothing's going to change for you. I'm still going to be here doing my things. I'm still going to answer private messages like I do now. And um, so nothing, nothing's going to change in that aspect. But I do have some funny jokes that are probably inappropriate for, um, you know, like right now. <laughs> but so, I don't know. I'm just excited to be able to share a little more, a little more of myself. If that makes any sense. All right. I think we're good with that. Let's try and see. Donna, hello. Hey, Diana and Donna. The two, two Ds are in the house. <laughs> D and D. Aw, oh, thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. No, I totally, I get it. I get it. Totally get it. It's just something I really wanted to do for a really long... I'm scared to death to do it. I mean, like I said, who am I? I'm just like a girl from Florida. I quit her job and lost her mind and cut all her hair off and <laughs> went rogue. <laughs> uh, uh, Queen Bee's from... Oh, how... Central... So your power must be on by now. Yeah, because Claudia, Claudia mentioned... Where's everybody from? I'm from Florida. Florida. I'm originally born and raised in Connecticut. I hauled ass out of there when I was 19 years old. Get out of a bad relationship. The economy tanked. My Nana lived here six months out of the year. And I said, Nana, I'm moving down there with you. <laughs> and uh, here I am. I never left. Michigan. Kimberly's from Michigan. Michigan. We got a, a little touch up to do. Central California. Also, North Carolina. I feel like I'm doing the beauty pageant. Miss North Carolina. <laughs> Anne is sporting the pink bikini tonight with the sequence. Donna, Southwest Illinois in the middle of the cornfields. Diana, Central California. Heidi, hi, Heidi. Maureen is from Florida. Mary's from Southeast Illinois. Denise is from South Carolina. Denise is wearing designer gown with beads. Made by Pentart. 
Pintart's designer. Oh my goodness. This Pintart's designer dress. I just got a few like, see there's a weird, see that weird spot? There's a couple of them. Oh, look at that one. Oh, I just put another coat on it. Pennsylvania. Miss Pennsylvania. Hey, whoa. All right. It's such a cornball. Ah, where about North Carolina, North California? <laughs> Heidi, Heidi. Y'all have been, some of you have been with me since day one. That's pretty freaking humbling. Pretty humbling. Thank you for that. Mm, horror corn, <laughs> children of the corn. Was that where they filmed that movie where, you're, where you live? Come on, nah. Really? Or did I misread that? Did I misread that? All right, so this took three coats. Definitely took three coats. I should have painted it white. Yeah, oh, home of the white squirrel. Home of the, oh, I'd love to have a white squirrel. I want a white squirrel. Oh my God, you know what happened to me last night? <laughs> oh my God, talk about freak out. So I left, it was like, it was late. I left the shed, um, I left the shed at like 2.30 this morning and I took like, I don't know, five steps. Y'all, a freaking beetle flew in my hair, but it got like stuck in my granola roll thing here. Oh my God, I freaked. I just, the glasses came off. I couldn't get my hair clip out. And then like, I was trying to shake it out of my head. And like, every time I thought it was gone, I. I'd stop and you can hear it bzzz, like it's stuck in my head again. Um, oh, it really is children of the corn. You're right. Oh my God. Oh, it's terrible. And then, but when I went in the house, you should have seen my hair. You're wearing a sweater with bell bottoms and boots. That's my pageant. Girl, you are a girl after my own heart. Yes, a hippie soul. I love it. I love it. But it left my head, thank God. But it was like stuck up in my, oh my God. I, I told my husband, if you, if there was a camera out there, I mean, it would have been like America's Funniest Videos. Oh, I freaked. I just freaked right, <laughs> right out. But my hair was like, oh my goodness. Hot mess. Hot, hot mess. <laughs> just, ugh. I was so mad. And grossed out <laughs> at the same time. I mean, I think it was a beetle. I really don't know what it was. I probably don't want to know. It sounded like a beetle. Oh. <sighs> Then I almost killed Gary today. I wasn't really paying attention and usually he trusts me. So I just walk around him. Well, I almost crushed him. I was talking to Ron or something and Ron's like, well, there's Gary and I felt him on my shoe. So I almost killed him. And his new girlfriend almost got in the house. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Queen Bee like needs to hang out with us. She's our, our soul sister. Soul sister, soul sister. All right, once we dry this, we can get to stamping it and we so Gary, <laughs> I got issues, Donna. Gary is my uh, porch lizard. <laughs> so glad I found you. Love every Oh, Anne, you're so sweet. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, he's, thank you, Anne. That was very sweet of you. Uh, Gary, he's just, he's our porch, back porch lizard. Every time I go out there, he is out there. Um, he looks like, there's a video on it. Um, <laughs> he looks like, He's prehistoric. Like he has, he kind of looks alligator-like ish, but he's always out there. Always. Those beetles are, oh my. I freaked out. That beetle was like, I can feel it in my head. I was like, ah! Ugh. Then I had my glasses off because I, so I couldn't see anything. Crazy. Yeah, so Larry's, or Gary's girlfriend is a skink or a skank sounds terrible she's uh she's beautiful though she's got um she's all black and slimy slippery looking we first moved to florida i had one of the scorpions i have on my head on your head oh, you know what i've i've only seen one scorpion a skink <laughs> not a skink i've only seen one scorpion and it was like this big it was at ron's hump hunting camp hello to gary from Central California. uh oh, that's so funny but she's got like um like essence like blue and purple um when the sun hits it she's beautiful but she wants right in the house that one, that one that's not beautiful i don't want no skinks in the house 
Oh, Tracy Campbell, how are you, my sweet friend with my sweet home living? It's been a minute, my friend. Ugh. You got a lot of big, exciting stuff coming up for you and everybody that's exciting. You used to manage exotic pet shops. Oh, how cool is that? So you're not afraid of anything. You're not afraid of anything. In a different spot. But uh, he's so trusting. Like, he just... There's still some weird spots in here, but I'm not going to worry about it. So there's our... Um, that's a pretty color. Black cherry. Black cherry. On our thrifted thing about it. All right, so we're going to use the Le Corrier. I know it's hard to see, so let me... Oh, that doesn't do much. It's a French newspaper. We have a family of large red skinks under the carport. Oh, so um, I love this. So if you look at this, um, these are actually individual stamps. So if you wanted to pull these apart, you totally could. See, I got the little stamps down here. So they're all, I've never done that. I know I'll never get them back. <laughs> and I've always used it as a whole, but you totally could use these as individuals if you wanted to. Um, yeah, that shirt was cool. That really inspired me. Because, oh, what the heck is that? Is there dirt on my table? Can y'all see that black stuff? Or it looks like, see that? Where did that even come from? Um, I don't know. Um, um, what was I saying? I don't know. Oh, because every single paper, every single decoupage paper that I put on that shirt, it looked amazing. Like, that has never happened. Like, out of all the decoupage papers we carry, I'll be lucky to find one that, you know, kind of gives me a little, ooh, that's good. Um, and it was just every paper after paper after paper. And then I'm like, ooh, do we have, like, a brown flannel? Ooh, because this will look good with that. I'm going to um, ink this up a little because I've been making the drop cloth curtains, and that really sucks up a lot of your ink. Um, I just inked it before my last one, but I'm just going to put a little bit more in here for good measure. Y'all, this is my original uh, black ink. Because when you buy the IOD ink, it's um, Indian ink and it's permanent ink. And you have to buy a pad um, like this and you get the bottle. Um, but this is more than half full. I use this, I, I, I'm just shocked that it's still half full, to be honest. I mean, how long have I had this? You have a true funny story that happened to Petco, shall I type it? Yes, heck yeah, sure way, yes. Type away. Yes, girl. Things not to use vinegar and bleach together. It creates clo Oh, no, I didn't. I, I, I was going to research it a little more anyways before I went just spraying chemicals. All right, I'm going to see. I don't know where this black. Hold on. I'm going to put this back on in case there's ink left over. On. Is this coming from here? I don't know where this black's coming from. Judy, how are you, my friend? All right, I just want to. I'm going to practice because. Yo, I gotta stop at a certain spot or I'm gonna um, double, Im you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? Catch what I'm throwing? So I guess I'm just gonna have to look when it happens. Yeah. Just gonna have to look. Uh, yeah, thank you, Heidi. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do both to, to begin with, but I would definitely look. Cause I would like to stop the process Using, um, I don't want to miss Queen Bee's story when I'm trying to concentrate on, uh, on this. Um, uh, you could tape it first. Oh, Candace, you're brilliant. Uh, to tape it first. That's a good idea. But how do I know where it needs to stop? That's the problem. I, I think I got this. I think I got this. And I will seal this mess after my ink dries. Um, I just want to see how far I got to ink down. I don't want to roll it over it because I'm afraid there's, I didn't clean it good last time. Oh, hell, I'm just going to ink it up. Measure around. I'm just, I'm going, I'm going rogue. I'm going all, I'm just going. I'm just, I'm going. I don't even need to ink the whole thing either, but I'm going to. Put a piece of tape on the roll and pin a marker. See, you guys are smart, but I, uh, start and I do. I'm just doing it. I'm going buck wild. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst thing that I just have to paint over it. I won't make you watch that. I, I would not do that to you. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> do you? But that is a good idea. Actually it's brilliant. But 
I don't know. I'm going all in. That's probably more than far enough. My friend and I were in different aisles of the Petco. All of a sudden, I hear her scream, and so I go pushing, rushing. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed the rest. Dang it. You guys can see it, though. Okay. That's probably more than enough ink. <laughs> I'm rogue. Oh, crap. I missed it. I'll have to go back and look. It doesn't sound like it ended well. <laughs> With her girlfriend screaming. All right. Here we go. Don't look. Y'all don't look. Okay. You can't budge either. Can't like jerk around. I gotta go back to the other one. I think I saw Sunet. I saw um I got this from uh Jamie uh oh tarantulas. Oh! oh I don't want nothing to do with that. Um Jamie Ray Vintage. I saw her husband do it. The tarantulas were in plastic containers and they were all over. Oh, oh. No thanks. All right, here we go. Shh. Here we go. Shh. Okay. Here we go. I'm down. I'm down. Here we go. Even pressure. You guys are going to see it before me. Even pressure. I think I might have just slid instead of rolled. I felt like I slid. Ooh, that looks cool. Uh, did I slide? I don't know. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Did I do it? I don't know. I did it. I did it. I did it. Right there is where I stopped. Could have went a tiny bit more, but not much. That's cool. It's a little crooked, is it? That was easy. Oh, where's the easy button? I love it. But it needs to be vintaged up, no doubt. It's too white. I wasn't even concerned about her. Every container they had tarantulas and they kept saying, was, oh my God. Oh my God. I would die. I'd die. I'd die. What, what am I going to do with this? Can you hold this? <laughs> One of you all hold this. I did it. Oh, gee. oh look. I hate it when that happens. Um, so your stamp, um, I just got to let it, ooh, crackle it. That's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. You have faith in me? <laughs> uh, after you ink your stamp, you can clean it with a baby wipe. Acrylic. Am I just down somewhere? Oh, somewhere. Put it here. Here on our cardboard. Um, yeah, it's too white. It's definitely too white. We could crackle it, you think? That'd take a minute, though. That'd take a minute. It's too, it's too white. It's too, too, too white. Might be one of those things I gotta think on. Can you imagine that? I gotta think on it. And if I did finish, only one came out of it's a container. I, 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 I don't know what I would do if I had to, if I had to pick up a tarantula. Oh, like, if I had to do it, I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could do it. I didn't clean that very good is why I'm doing this. I did see a clip there, though. We have a, um, it's down south um, where we used to live, but there's a place called Lake Seminole. It's this huge lake. And, um... This guy fishes there a lot, and he's got footage from today. I guess this is the second time he saw this huge, I mean, the thing, I don't know if it's pregnant, but it's like that round of a rattlesnake, huge, uh, swimming across the lake. A rattlesnake. Oh, you should do a style on you. Um, how do you tame a tarantula? Tarantulas are just tamed by nature, I don't know. Sit down, boo-boo. <laughs> Sit down, tarantula. Flip, roll over. <laughs> Why do you do that? Take it for a walk, train them. I don't know. Um, let me think about this. If we crackle this. I don't know if I should crackle this or something cool about YouTube videos. You can't do on Facebook. It's like you can zoom the picture to see crap. Oh, you can? You can watch it on your TV, too. That's what I've been doing lately. 
because my Roku, I don't have it in my bedroom now. It's for the other two TVs. So I only have that Voodoo, Voodoo, and YouTube. So I've been doing that. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if I want to crackle this. It's not a bad idea. I gotta get a little visual here. It's gonna take a minute to crackle it. So let's um, let's think of that. And if we're gonna crackle it, we'll do it live because that's like a whole process. And if anybody's trying to learn the fine line crackle or the classic crackle, we'll probably do the fine line on here because it gives it a little dinge like that one. Um, that'll be a good way to just solely do that. And if somebody's trying to learn it, it's a perfect, perfect opportunity for them. And then we can maybe put a little dark wax on the handles. Um, I love this. It's so simple. This is simple. Like this is simple um, to me, but I, I like simple. I like simple. I want to show you one more thing that I, because I can't finish things live apparently till I hit I'm gone, and then my brain tells me what to do because I can't think when I'm live. Um, you know, some story about it. Yeah, write a book, girl. <laughs> People love animals. They love to hear it. We did this two lives ago, but I couldn't I couldn't make my mind up on this stupid little bow, and I ended up adding this um, ribbon. I'm not very much of a ribbon person, but I thought this looked perfect, and this was fogged up when we had... Uh, so parted ways but it did it did clear so when i put the hot when i put the hot glue for the beads it fogged this up but it did clear as you can see i know there's a glare but this is a half of um christmas bulb and uh i ended up putting i was i was, set, I was hell bent on putting those dried flowers on there but it worked out it worked out i think it's adorable i love the wood on this thing like we couldn't cover that up but i think it's cute it's uh different you all know I like different, but I'm not going to keep you any longer. You're going to be seeing a lot of me. Just stain it. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to think on it. We're not done with it. And I don't know that we're done with that shirt. You know me. I don't know when I'm ever done. Plus, I want to rip off the heavy body gel to show you guys that. I could do one of them. Let me do one of them. Uh, Maureen, sweet dreams, my friend. I'm going to do one of them. Um... Oh, Lorenzo Robert is, he's bugging you, Lori. I'll get him when I get off of here. Lorenzo wants you to marry him. <laughs> Lori. Uh, bye, Lo bye. All right, I'm not going to show you then. Um, Lori, you got a, you got a, you got a troll. Uh, we lived in Oklahoma. I found a giant wolf spider. Oh, those are disgusting. Those things are so fast, those wolf spiders. Those were in our house. Like, weird, here and there for a few months they are huge and they are fast man they're like boop, 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 jump ah, i don't know so i bought I'll, I'll do the big one later i mean it's really big it's similar to this um but this is the heavy body gel this stuff has so many uses y'all it's crazy so it's heavy body gel and i put it this is a fondant mat i just recently did, got this on amazon i didn't put it in my store yet but y'all one of the uses is Put it in these little, I don't know how thick of a mold we can go. That's probably something we need to figure out. But this is so cool. Uh, this is so cool. It, um, you can use it for embellishments and it's flexible. Oh, we don't want that extra skin stuff on there. Oh, look at it. It's flaking. I don't know how to do this best, but here we go. It's like skin. It's like I'm peeling sunburnt skin <laughs> skin off is what it feels like. Now that stuff we'll have to clean off because that's like from the sides. But here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that, y'all. How stinking cool. So now, yes, we got to clean that little bit off. So now you can use this for an embellishment. It feels just like sunburnt skin is what it feels like. Look how cool that is. Paint it, whatever. See that flashing? We'll have to rip that real thin stuff off on the bottom, but that is so neat. And it, it took, I'd say about 10 hours to dry. 
fully dry where I could rip it out. But uh, that's cool. I can't wait to see the big one. Like this, this one. It looks like it has nothing in it, but we'll do that next live. This one's full of the same stuff, but it looks like it has nothing in it at all. Um, but we're going to rip it out like that. So that's exciting. Yay. All right, you guys, thank you so much for your time. I will, you'll be seeing a lot of me this week, just fair warning. So have a great night and I'll see you guys soon.